Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my oldie weekly food shop haul. So this week we did our first ever weekly food shop in Aldi and it came to around £78 which we were really really pleased with because we've got, got such a lot this week and I also picked up some lovely Christmas treats as well so stay tuned because I will be showing those ones at the very end and yes I've gone to Aldi obviously lots of times before and got kind of little bits but we've never done a big shop and mainly that's because Aldi doesn't sell absolutely everything that we buy so we did have to do kind of a little top-up shop and we got a couple of things from our last shop at Waitrose last week. But yes, other than that, we were really, really pleased with what we bought. So without further ado, let's go on and I'll show you everything that we've got this week. So firstly, I'll start off with the household kind of items. We got a roll of kitchen roll, which is this really massive one. I did buy some cheap ones last time and they weren't that good. So this one looks a bit thicker. We got some anti-back wipes. Unfortunately, they didn't have the biodegradable ones this week. But yeah, I got those anyway. Picked up some sponges and some tissues as well. And then food-wise, I actually got this cereal, which is kind of like Cheerios. But it's actually for my son to do kind of like messy play with. I'm just going to crush it up. So yeah, we probably, well, we'll probably end up eating some of it, I'm sure. So it doesn't go to waste, but... That's kind of what that is, really. And then this, I had this in my Aldi favourite buyers video, which if you haven't seen, I'll leave link below. I really, really like this granola. It's really super tasty and it's low sugar, so that is really good. I have that as a snack. And then I found some organic porridge at Aldi, which we were really pleased about because we do tend to buy mostly organic things when we do our weekly shop, usually. Um, just kind of... I guess it's kind of the healthiest thing to do, really. But Aldi doesn't do loads of organic stuff, but they did have this porridge. So, yes, and that was really good value. And then fruit-wise, we've got a pack of six apples. We've got their wonky red grapes there. We've got two avocados, which I, I, don't know, I, I do like avocados, but more times than not, I often buy them and then like forget about them and then they're too ripe. So hopefully I will get around to eating those and also I'm going to try our son Arthur on them as well. And then we've got some bananas there and a pack of strawberries, which they look pretty good. Strawberries are a bit hit and miss, aren't they? But hopefully they'll be okay. And then last fruit thing we've got is just some ready to eat melon there. I always like to buy that kind of thing. We got this lovely bread. We actually did buy another one, but we, we've already opened it. I just I literally just had that for lunch. But yes, it just looks really, really nice. And it did taste nice. It's really, really thick. So I was very impressed with that one. And then snack-wise, we've got these quadruple chocolate cookies, which is amazing. I love chocolate. I love biscuits. So I'll enjoy those. We've got some shortbread fingers. These buttons, which we've had before, they're really nice. And this chocolate is for me. So this tastes just like after eight chocolate. It's really, really good. And it is dairy-free as well. So that is always a good one. I think that was in my favourite buys too. And we've got four packets of crisps. These, oh, we absolutely love these. These are lentil crisps. They're actually made from lentils. Crisps made from lentils. And yeah, Thai sweet chilli flavour. So we've got two packs of those. And then pea crisps, we've got a salt and vinegar one. And my husband fancy trying the sour cream flavour, so we got those as well. Then we got some little individual packs there, just one pickled onion and one roast beef. I think, I can't remember how much they are, they're only, I think they're about 40 or 50p. So, considering you get six for 99p, uh, is it, yeah, they're not like brilliant value for money, but they are nice, they're just like monster munch. So we just picked those up. And... Coming on to the snack bars, we always buy loads of snack bars in Aldi and that's kind of the main reason I often go in there. So we've got, these are the children's ones, so we've got raspberry and apple and strawberry and apple. These true bars are just like naked bars if you ever had them and kind of all they've got in them is dates and cashews, raisins and some natural flavouring and they're I think they're pretty healthy, obviously, that's all they've got in them. So we've got two boxes of Bakewell tart flavour and salted caramel flavour, just one box of those. And they're only 99p for five, which is a lot cheaper than Naked Bars. So I would really recommend those if that's kind of your sort of thing. 
Aldi always get me at the till, so these are at the tills along with those little crisps. Is a pack of popcorn, so just sweet and salty, and I've had that before, that's really nice. We got some crackers there, not tried those before, but we've had similar ones from different supermarkets, and that's always nice just to have a snack. Sometimes it's good to have something savoury, so we got those and also some plain whole grain crackers too. Then I picked up this chocolate spread which I've heard so many people talk about on their Aldi hauls it's apparently just like Nutella it's hazelnut and chocolate so I'm really excited to try that when I watch these hauls I always hear of things I want to buy and there's loads of other things from Aldi I do want to try but I kind of decided I can't try it all because there's already a few extra things here so yeah I just stuck with that one but I think that's a pretty good buy and then kind of store cupboard wise I needed some pickle so I got a jar of that there I got some stuff and mix, we've had that before and that is really nice and that was so ch cheap, I think it was reduced to like 30p or something which is crazy. So we'll kind of usually like do a third, so this will last us like three different meals and we'll just have two stuff and balls each kind of thing. And then we got a pack of whole wheat pasta and that was again 40 oh, 50 p I think, really really cheap, a lot cheaper than the one we usually buy so that was a brilliant deal. We got some white spaghetti there. We actually have whole grain spaghetti when, when, sorry, whole wheat, I think, spaghetti when we do have it, which isn't very often, but I thought white one is better for babies, apparently, and also I do some messy play with spaghetti, like I diet and stuff for my uh, son, Arthur, so that's why we got that there. And then I got two tins of chopped tomatoes, one passata and a pack of four baked beans. Never tried Aldi's baked beans, so hopefully they're okay, because beans are one of those things that can often not taste very nice. So yeah, I hope they they are okay. And then we've got a pack of three red onions. We've got lots of baking potatoes there. I think I said in my last food haul that we are using our air fryer to make our own chips, and they're just so much nicer. So yes, we're buying quite a lot of potatoes at the moment. And then kind of other vegetable wise, we thought we would get some sprouts. We usually only have those at Christmas, to be honest, but we thought we'd try those. We've got a nice big cabbage there. We've got a broccoli there and a lettuce for when we have um, like burgers and rolls. I got some plain flour. Again, this is for kind of messy play again, but also we are planning on making an apple crumble soon. So I think we've got some flour, but yeah, if, if we haven't got enough, then obviously we've got that one. Now the thing which Aldi don't do are my plant milk. So I prefer rice milk and coconut milk, and my husband has dairy milk and coconut milk. Aldi do do, I think it's soya milk or almond milk and oat milk. So I got one oat because I do like that as well. But yes, I got my other milks from a different shop and my husband prefers organic dairy milk. So we didn't get that at Aldi. But we did get some soya yogurt, that's for me. I really like the blueberry one and I saw this um, on Jade's channel, I think it was. So I had blueberry last time, that was really nice. But I think we might have a curry this week and I like to have a dollop of plain yogurt kind of on the side, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I thought I'd just get that natural one. And then I also got this and that is for, again, for my son Arthur, just like a plain dairy yogurt there. We got a bottle of orange juice. They didn't have pineapple, unfortunately, so we thought we'd just get orange this week. And this soup was really good value, carrot and coriander. Soup's really lovely to have at this time of year, isn't it? So yeah, we'll be getting that in. And then we got two lots of eggs. And again, these were organic, so we were happy to find those. We got some puff pastry, which I've never used before, but I just keep seeing people make things with this ready rolled puff pastry. So I don't even know what I'm gonna make with it yet. It may be something for us, it may be something for my son, I'm not sure. Any ideas, please let me know. But yeah, excited to try that one. Hopefully I use it before it runs out. And then we got these pretty big Yorkshire puddings. So I'm looking forward to having those. I got some hummus, which is always nice for a snack with crackers and things. And I also saw this pie, which I've not had before. It says it, yeah, vegan pie. 
butternut squash and chickpea curry. So that will I'll kind of have that with like a roast, which I don't know, you might think that's a bit odd because it's more like a curry kind of flavour. But yeah, I'll have that with vegetables and potatoes and things with gravy. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then the last things we bought, apart from the Christmas things, were some frozen bits. So I really like these no chicken burgers. So these are vegan. They're really, really nice. And Matt loves these as well. So we got two boxes of those. I found these, which I think they did last year. I think it's kind of a, I don't know if it's Halloween or Christmas. Obviously it's got pumpkin in. But yeah, it's 10 little breaded bites with cauliflower, pumpkin and chilli. And I had something very similar last year and they were really nice. So I thought I would get those ones. I got some fishless fingers. So that is a vegan version of fish fingers. I've tried those before and they are really, really good. So again, something I'd recommend if you don't eat fish. We got some corn mints, and then lastly, sorry, it's always a bit in our freezer and it's all got a bit squashed. But yeah, we got some vanilla ice cream, which is to go with the apple crumble. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've also got some custard powder, which, yeah, I think I might have one portion with custard and one with ice cream. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And last but not least is little Christmas items that we bought. So they have, apparently they are bringing in more in, I think later on in the week, but we've got some Christmas tree decorations. I already bought some in Home Bargains, which you might have seen in my uh, Home Bargains haul that I did, but we got these ones and yeah, I just really thought they were really cute little like balls with little snowflakes on. They're really cute. We've got a bag of chocolate sprouts. I don't know why we've got one actually, probably should have got one each, but to be honest, a lot of this, I don't know, some of this hopefully will last until Christmas, but ones that I reckon we'll probably eat these before because we only got one. And if there was for the stock, we would have bought two, wouldn't we? So, <laughs> but yeah, they're just really cute. And um, we found this, which is a milk hot chocolate melting snowman. So you put this in a mug of hot milk and it makes hot chocolate. And I just thought, how lovely would that be for like a stocking filler or a little gift for someone? It's really cute. And again, I don't actually know why we only bought one. I don't know. I've just seen actually, it has, marshmallows in it which are vegetarian so I will take them out because I don't eat gelatine but yeah but that's really cute isn't it so I thought I would get that one I've got a little Santa's chocolate reindeer so that's lovely I think we'll be keeping that for Christmas we'll keep him uh, we've got these lovely Rockin' Robins milk chocolate filled with salted caramel I love chocolate and caramel so those are lovely and I think these will definitely be keeping for Christmas but they are really cute and then we've got a big pack of chocolatey biscuits oh, I love having these type of biscuits and we usually only ever have them at Christmas it's, it's that kind of one of those things that you don't really buy do you during the year well we don't anyway so yeah they look really nice and then the last thing we bought which is from the Christmas range is apple stolen bites. So they had marzipan ones. I'm not a fan of marzipan. And then I clocked these ones. So hopefully these will taste really good. I'm actually really looking forward to having these. I wonder when the best before date is. Because uh, uh, it's the 15th of January, but I wouldn't mind trying some of them now. <laughs> but anyway, that is everything that we bought. As I said, it came to, I think it was 78 pounds. So we did actually buy an awful lot at Aldi. But we had to buy extra plant milk, dairy milk, I think we bought a pizza and maybe a couple of other things from the co-op and then like from our weekly shop last week at Waitrose. But yes, other than that, that was a really, really good shop. So we were very, very happy. So that is everything that we have bought from Aldi this week. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I've got lots of other grocery hauls and food shop hauls and some meal ideas as well on my channel. So go and check them out if you haven't seen them already. If you like this video, then do please let me know and consider subscribing to my channel because I would love to have you here. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.